Day morning and later this morning, Democratic Governor Jared Polis will deliver the state of the state address. He will speak before Colorado lawmakers at 11 o'clock at the Capitol. Nine News reporter Nusha Roy joins us live there now with a look at the top issues the governor will focus on today. Good morning. Good morning, Corey and Jordan. Yeah, I have the lieutenant governor here with us. I want to jump right into it. When it comes to top issues the governor is going to be focusing on today, what do we expect? Well, you know, we're going to look ahead to the future as to where we want Colorado to be when we're 150 years old, which is just around the corner. Uh, we've done a lot of listening, you know, from all over the state, and it, we've determined that people are most interested in making sure that we have housing that's affordable, um, depending on where you want to live and whether you want to rent or own. And then public safety is a big issue, too. So he want, we want to make sure Colorado is one of the 10 top safe safest states in the nation. You know, speaking of housing, uh, the Senate, we heard from Senate Republicans yesterday saying that is also one of the things, cost of living, that they're really hoping is an emphasis later today. And what they're looking for is a pledge from the governor to work with both Republicans, bring all sides together and really start working on regulations, including in the construction industry, to open up the way for more affordable housing. Will the governor be offering enough specifics today to maybe find some common ground between all sides? Yeah, I think the governor wants common ground. You know, one of the things we want to make sure we have is a really healthy, respectful discourse in all areas. So the governor's open to any suggestion that might increase our housing supply and make it so people can live where they want to live and close to where they work. What kind of actionable items do you think people who are watching this today will take away? I think we'll, they'll take away the fact that the governor's really forward thinking. Uh, we're not resting on our laurels. We're, you know, we're moving ahead and trying to make sure that we, you know, can save people money. We'll build a lot on what we've done in the past. You know, ed education has been a big passion for the governor. And then we'll talk about where we want to be, you know, in a, when we're 150 years old. So working together will be a big theme as well because we don't believe in, you know, uh, we, we want a robust policy discussion, but we don't want personal attacks. All right. Well, thank you so much for waking up bright and early with us. We really appreciate it. Again, the governor is expected to start talking at 11 a.m. today. Of course, we are going to be here at the Capitol throughout the morning. We're going to be streaming that speech as well on multiple platforms for you to watch at home. Corey and Jordan. Yeah, we thank Lieutenant Governor Diane Primavera for joining us this morning to preview that speech. Again, that's happening at 11 o'clock today, and you can watch it on some of our platforms yeah. live. Anusha, thank you.